Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw letters using three point perspective. We're going to start off by drawing blocks and then we're going to carve out the blocks and make our block letters. This was a requested tutorial and it was requested by Novia Inder One and she needs this tutorial for her homework so I hope it's on time. I have a video and I'll put a link here to two point perspective if you haven't learned about that. All you need for this tutorial is a ruler, a pencil, and some paper. You can do it without a ruler. It just makes it a lot easier to have that ruler, especially if we're drawing letters and we need to make sure some of our proportions are correct. I have two different rulers here. When I'm drawing in perspective, I prefer the clear ruler as opposed to something that's solid because I can see through it and it's easier to match my lines up. But use whatever ruler or straight edge that you have. So in three point perspective, if this is our horizon line, so this is the sky, this is the land, theoretically, so there would be a vanishing point somewhere up here. This is called the worm's view or I've heard it called the ant's view, something coming from above and then the bird's eye view is where we're looking down at something like a city. This always reminds me of Spider-Man, this view. And the reason this is important is because this is the first line we're drawing. And let's get started. Take your ruler and draw a horizon line across the middle of your paper. This is my horizon line, this is the sky, this is the land. And now I'm going to draw two vanishing points on this line. One over here and one over here. These points do not need to be at the edges, some could be over here, one could be here. I'm just going to be putting them over here for for demonstration purposes, it's a little bit easier. We're just going to be using the worm's view or like something's coming down out of the sky onto us perspective. So go ahead and put your vanishing point at the top of your paper. I'm going to be drawing a little bit darker so you can see, but make sure you're drawing so light that you almost don't even need to erase anything. We could put our lines straight through the middle, but I'm gonna put mine at a little bit of an angle. And this is where you decide how big you want your shape to be. So I'm going to start my letter here. And then I'm going to end it right here. In three point perspective, it's important to understand that all of the vertical lines are going to be coming from this third vanishing point. None of them are going to be going straight up and down like this. And then my top lines and my bottom lines are going to be coming from these vanishing points on the side. So on the right side, go ahead and line up with this indication of where your shape starts and bring it to the right side for the top and the bottom and do the same thing on the left side, but go to the left vanishing point. You don't wanna go outside of this triangle. There's a triangle in between all of these vanishing points. If you go outside of it, this method will not work. Now you need to decide how big we want this shape to be. So do I want this side to be stretched out like that? Do I want it to be a little bit thinner? I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. And then this one, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So we have these two sides, now we need to create the bottom. Remember, this is coming down from the sky so we can see the bottom of it. This is similar to two-point perspective. You're going to take this left point, draw a line to the opposite vanishing point, take this right point, and take it to the left vanishing point, so opposites. First, we're just going to be drawing these blocks, then we'll make them into letters. Now let's draw a shape below the horizon line using the same vanishing point. And I'm just going to use these same lines. Since they're already here, let's go ahead and use them. We just need to figure out how big we want the shape to be. So now we're gonna figure out how big this block is going to be. This is my horizon line, I want it to be below it. So I'm gonna have it start here and end here. So once you have those two dots indicating how big this shape is going to be, do the same thing you did on the top. We're going to take on the right side, just draw a line from those points to the right vanishing point. And on the left side, draw a line from those indications of how big that is to the left vanishing point. Now we need to see the top part of the shape. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the bottom of this one. We're going to take the left point or top edge of this shape back to the right vanishing point and the left top of that edge to the left vanishing point. And there we have our shape. I'm going to erase a few lines just so you can see these a little bit more clearly. If you get a little bit confused when you're drawing perspective, make sure you erase some of those lines or thicken up the lines that you're using. All right, so we have our box above, we have our box below. Now what if there is a box that's on our horizon line? So it's crossing over it, it starts below it and it goes above it. And I'm just going to use these same lines so since this is going below, this is starting below and going above, we can't see the top or the bottom since it's right in front of us. So now we have this pyramid that we've cut into three. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see what would happen if we would have started below our horizon line. All right, now let's talk about how to draw letters inside of these shapes, since that was the question before this tutorial. And I'm just going to use these shapes that we've already drawn to draw my letters inside of for my examples. One thing to understand, and I'm gonna draw this really quickly before we go on. I'm just gonna draw a square that looks like this, 
a square that looks like this, and a square that looks like this. How would you find the middle of these shapes? It's important to know where the middle of a shape is if you're drawing a letter so that you can keep it in perspective. If I try to just draw the letter right in the middle of this, it's still gonna look really cool. You could still totally draw your letters like this and it would look great, but it would not be in perspective because the center of this shape is not right there. So how do you find the center? Here is a really easy way. You're gonna do it with your ruler, but I'm just gonna draw it really quickly so you can understand. Draw an X in the middle of your box from corner to corner and wear it in intersects, that is the middle of that shape. Let's try it in these. That is the middle of that shape. That's the middle of that shape. So the T would be over here. The T would be over on the left side. The T would be on the right side. And this T would be right in the middle. We're going to draw an A in our first box. And since it's a block letter, I need to make sure that I'm keeping these widths in perspective. You could draw it on the bottom. You could draw it on this side, but it's easier for me to show you on this side because that's how I'm used to doing it. First, what we want to do is find the center of that shape. And I'm actually going to zoom in. Let's find the center of this shape. Let's draw an X from corner to corner. So this is the middle of the shape. Then we want to draw a line right through the middle of it. And now we know that this is the center of this shape. And you don't need to do this for every side of the shape. You just need to do it on the side that is facing you, the front of the letter, I guess you could call it. So we're going to divide it up in half horizontally, in half vertically, and we're going to divide it with an X. And remember to use your vanishing point. So I'm using the right vanishing point to put this, to divide it in half horizontally. And I'm using the top vanishing point to divide it in half vertically. Because remember, all of our vertical lines are coming from this point. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that these are in perspective. The bottom of my A. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the middle of each of these pieces. We already have one of those lines so let's just draw another one. And then we're going to draw a line straight through the middle of it using our vanishing point. And just go ahead and put it through the whole shape. We'll use it on the top part of our A in a second. There's going to be a lot of lines going on here. So I'm just going to thicken up this middle one so you can tell that this is the center of the shape. Now what I know is this is where I want my A to start. It's pretty thick and this is where I want it to come to over here. Now I need to figure out where I want it to come up here because I want it to be flat at the top. I don't want it to come to a point. And we're doing all of these, let's just call it an X with a line through it. We divide the di diagonal and then we make sure you come from that top vanishing point. So I'm going to bring the middle of my A here. But what we're going to do now that I have that line is I'm going to draw this edge of my A, this diagonal line, and then I'm going to draw this diagonal line coming over to this corner. And I could bring it to a point or I could keep it kind of square at the top. It's totally up to you since this is your drawing. But what I want to do is first, when we divided these middle sections in half, we gave ourselves kind of a little marker to bring these bottom lines to. And now we can thicken this up if we want to. I'm gonna make the bottom, instead of making the top of the A there, which you could, and it would look cool, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right up here. So I'm making it a little bit thicker. So we know that we want this part of our shape to come up, and we know we want this part of our shape to go up after that point as well. But I don't want it to come into a point, so I'm just going to figure out how tall I want it to be. Bring it up as high as you want, and then finish it using a line coming from the right side. I'm going to erase it so you can see this letter. All right, now we need to bring it back. So we need to fill in the left side of the shape. So I'm gonna start at my left vanishing point. I already have a line there. Now I need to bring one from this edge. I usually just start at my vanishing point and kind of hinge up to whatever I'm drawing into perspective. In this case, it's a letter. And then see where I hit edges. That would be on whichever side I'm drawing. Are there any that you can see that we missed? Like this shape just keeps continuing. So we need to make sure we catch that edge. So this is the front, the bottom, and the side. So the side needs this vertical line coming from our top vanishing point. And then we also forgot a small little line inside of our A. Now you can thicken up some of your lines. You can add some shadows. I'm just gonna add some quick hatch shadows. All right, so there is one of our letters. And remember, if that is a little bit too confusing to use the X method, I'm just gonna call it the X method. I do not know what it's called. Kind of mathematical. It's not how I usually create art. So now let's create a shape that is curved. And since these are block letters, we're gonna make it into a block, but then I'll show you how to make it curved if you want to. Now you know how to draw a letter above the horizon line. Now let's draw one below. All right, so I just came down to the block that we drew below the horizon line, and now we're going to make a letter in it. You can figure out how wide you want it to be or how skinny. So I'm just going to make it maybe that big. And I'm going to draw the letter C. Since it has a few curves in it, maybe that would make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to draw a C, and so now how do we figure out where the C should be? We're going to do the same thing we did with the A. We're going to draw an X from corner to corner to find the middle of the shape. 
Anytime my ruler is coming up here, I'm going to this top vanishing point. I'm going to change the view so you can see the vanishing point. I think that's helpful. Then we're going to draw a line through the middle of it. And since it's a vertical line, we're using that top vanishing point. Then divide it in half horizontally. And I'm coming from the right vanishing point. Since it's a block letter, it's going to look like that. But I'm not exactly sure where these pieces go. So let's figure out where they go. So we're going to find the middle of each one of these four different shapes. All we need to do is add one line to find the middle of each of those. I do want it to be this thick. I think that's a pretty good thickness. Now you can draw your C in using those different center points that we just drew. All right, now let me erase this so you can see where the C is. Remember, you should be drawing a lot lighter than this. So you don't need to erase as much as I am. I'm just darkening up my lines, some that I lost when I erased it. All right, so that's it for the front of our letter. Now we need to figure out what else we can see. This looks pretty correct, and you can kind of look at it and just to see what looks right to you. Block letters are the easiest to start with, so I would definitely recommend starting with these and then moving to different ones. And then we're just gonna bring a line back. So how did I know that? So I can see the, the top of this section, so I should be able to see the top of that section as well. So there is a C and there is an A, but what if you want to curve it? All you do is use the block letter to start with and then just add those curves. Trying to keep the perspective, but if I'm adding curves here, then I need to make sure that I add them back here. So this shape would probably look a little bit more like that if it was rounded. Sometimes shading helps me just sort out which shape is where. All right, so now we have our A, we have a C. Let's go ahead and draw a T over on this side. A T is going to be really simple, so I'm going to draw one. Instead of on this side, I'm gonna flip it to this side. Find the middle by drawing an X through it and a vertical line coming from our top. Now I'm going to draw a line through the middle from my left vanishing point. So now I know where the middle of my T should be. I want it to make sure I'm keeping it in the correct perspective, so I'm going to use the X method in this square and I'm going to make an X. And then I'm going to draw a line straight through it from my top vanishing point. Now I don't want my T to be this wide, so what would I do? Draw a line through the middle of these X's and divide these two shapes in half using the X method. And I'm going to have my T start here. That's how thick I want it to be. So I'm starting with my top vanishing point and drawing a line straight through the middle of that X all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna erase it so you can see what it looks like. That's going to be the middle of my T. Now I can decide how thick I want it to be. And there we have our T. Let me erase it so you can see some of these parts a little bit better. Then you can decide how big you want this to be. Do I want it to stay as big as this shape is? Or do I want it to be a little bit smaller? If I wanted it to be smaller, I could just stop it over here. But I'm just gonna bring it all the way back. Now let's make this T look like it's in perspective and we're going to be drawing the right side of it. So we're going to the right vanishing point. I want to end this, so I'm just going to use my left vanishing point since that's how I made this line. And then I know where this should end because it's where that hits the line. It's a little tight. See, adding that shadow will sometimes help you figure out what is going on and what is where. All right, so there's a T using that method. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, especially Novia Inder 1. And it was what you're looking for. So remember when drawing in perspective, just keep those vertical lines lined up with your third vanishing point that's either on the top or the bottom. And remember I could flip this upside down and it would be a completely different view, but you're using the same technique. So whether you wanna draw your letters below, on, or above your horizon line, these are the different ways to do it. Also remember that using the X method will help you find the center of your shape, which will help you to put your letters into perspective. And that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you around on YouTube. Also, subscribe if you like this tutorial. Let me know what different tutorials you'd like to see. I have a big list, but I, I'm always looking for more ideas. So have a wonderful day, and I hope you're enjoying this new year. We will see you around on YouTube.